Hey guys, I have been watching the Huawei video launch today. They've announced a few different products. The most important one being the Mate 20 Pro. Uh, I'll do a video talking about all the different products that have been announced later on. Once all the sales information is there, and I can give you a, a better summary. But what I'd like to do in this video is talk about Adamate Premier Rush CC. I'll just read this uh, part at the, the, the top here. This is how they explain it. Feed your channels a steady stream of awesome with Premier Rush CC, the all new app for creating and sharing online videos. It's easy to use, works across all your devices and it'll transform the way you create content. Now, I'll summarize that as basically it's a, it's a simple editing, recording and editing solution that works on your phone, your tablet and your computer. This is available for Windows and Mac right now. It's also available for iOS. So if you've got an iPhone, if you've got an iPad, you can download this and you can give it a try. Unfortunately, it isn't going to be available for Android until 2019. That is a pain in the ass. So I can't show you everything, you know, how it works. I've installed it in Windows, so I'll be able to show you that, but it's a little bit annoying that I can't test it out, you know, and really give it a proper review. Um, what I was using before, every now and then, was Adobe Clip. Now, Adobe Clip was free to download, uh, unlike this one, which you have to pay for, I believe. Um, well, there it's there. £9.98. I'm not sure if that's the case on uh, on the mobile devices as well. Um, but Adobe Clip was free to download. It was good at some things, but I always found it sluggish. always found it very slow at encoding the video. The only reason I used it sometimes was if, if the, the video that I recorded on my phone... Well, um, if the audio was a little bit quiet, I would put it into Adobe Clip and I could increase the audio volume. That's pretty much all I used it for. For anything else, it was just a little bit too clunky, a little bit, it was just sluggish. It was just slow to use. It just wasn't user friendly, in my opinion. I'm hoping that Premier Rush will be better, but again, I can't show you. Another one I downloaded the other day, it's worth mentioning, is, is it Kine Master? You, pr you pronounce that? That seems okay, but I haven't really figured it all out yet. I've not spent time, you know, creating videos on it. So that's something I'll need to try to see how that works as well. But with regards to Adobe Premiere Rush CC, I've tried it on Windows just to see how it all works. And I like what they're trying to do here. Um, it says here, again, I haven't tested the mobile app, but it says here that go from shoot to showtime, showtime and record time, built-in camera functionality helps you take pro quality video on your mobile devices. So the idea is that you can record videos and photos through your phone or your tablet and then you can sync it across all your devices um, and you can share right from the app to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Uh, make a bigger splash on social. So you can see the example here, the way the animation in the back here is that they've taken a little video clip and then they've just quickly added text. So, you know, perhaps you could put an introduction, you know, like this is my video or whatever, whatever you like, that's a really bad example. Whatever you put at the start, you can do it through this interface. Now, um, let's see, create your show on the road. iOS, Mac and Windows. Um, now, I'm not sure what if that's the iOS version. It looks like the Windows version. But what I'm going to do is jump over and boom. So, um, this is Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Now, what I'm used to using for my videos is Adobe Premiere, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is the video for my GoPro recording. And you can see that, you know, this is more advanced. This this is a, a an advanced video editor. You can see all the different clips I've added. Granted, I do edit and record my videos and, you know, produce everything in a very simple way. But you can just see the number of clips here and all the different filters and all these different things that have been applied. That is through Adobe Premiere Pro CC. With um, Adobe Rush, well, it's a little bit simpler. If I go to Create New Project, the you know, you can access your C drive and get all your files from there. You can go to your Creative Cloud files so you can sync it from other devices. It's got sample media here. And if I put Beach Selfie, Boarding the Boat, Boat View, these are just the sample clips that they create, uh, that they offer to you. So I'm going to create a little project here. And just hopefully this will help you see what you can do. Now, as I was saying before, I don't have the mobile version, but if you jump over here, you can see Adobe Premiere Rush CC. You can see some screenshots uh, as to how it looks on an iPhone. And, you know, understandably, understandably, when you are um, creating something on a mobile device, it's a little bit 
different because everything's cramped in. But this is the, the Windows version. So I'll just take my webcam away for a second. So you can see the three clips have been added together. They're just in blocks. Kind of reminds me of ScreenFlow. If any of you guys have got a Mac, you might have used ScreenFlow. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, yeah, you've got cut, you've got delete and all that down there, duplicate. Right hand side, you've got an option to add text. So there's titles, there's transitions, colors, audio, just your audio, crop and rotate. And yeah, it's a very simple um, way of editing videos. Now, depending on what you're doing, that is exactly what you want. You can see there's a lot of cool options here, auto volume, reduce background noise. Simplicity is the key here. They, they aren't making you go into complex, um, you know, uh, complex menu systems and look at all the different things that you have to do. They've just got an option saying reduce background noise. Now, that is really, really good. If I open up Premiere Pro here, if I can drag this along and, for example, if I can bring this around, like if I select a clip, can you guys see that? You maybe not see all of it. Um, I'll try and bring this into shot. Right, so if I select a clip here, an audio clip, you've got all these different options here. I sometimes use the multi-band compressor, and um, this allows me to change the audio. Um, what is this? Oh, have I selected the wrong thing? I'm sorry, guys. Oh, you can't see that. Um, so I've I've got the multi-band comp um, compressor here. It allows me to you know compress the wave file and all that. These things are great. It gives you so much control over what you do and what you don't do. You can move things up and down and all that. But, admittedly, I use Premiere Pro in a very, very simple way. So there is a big appeal to applications like this, to just, you know, just click on reduce background noise, or just click on auto volume. Just a very simplified editing, you know, application. I think it looks quite good. I do think it looks quite good. Uh, but there's a difference between using it on your computer and using it on your phone or your tablet. Now, I'm going to a conference and I will be using this gimbal a lot. I suspect I'll be making maybe one live stream a day, maybe four or five videos a day. I don't know exactly, but the idea is I'm going to be recording lots of videos, going around with the gimbal, talking to people, and all those videos will be on here. Now, that allows me to, you know, I've got a video here I can upload from here directly to YouTube. And when I upload directly to YouTube, if I've recorded a, a video with my phone, what I do is, just upload directly to YouTube and essentially all you do is pick a start point and an end point. But sometimes it would be good to clip a few clips together. It would be good to have a little bit more functionality. And that is where something like this comes in. Where I can, you know, perhaps clip a few clips together, maybe add a layer, maybe add some text, maybe change the volume. Hope hopefully it does what I want it to do, hopefully. Um, but... I don't know. I'll wait and see. I'll, I'll test it later on. Um, as I said, as someone who does like recording through my phone, I do like recording through my phone, um, I would like to see more video editing options on Android. The ones that I've used, I've, I've downloaded lots of them, and I find them all really slow, really clunky. I just find it the way that they work to be quite limited. Now, admittedly, Adobe Clip wasn't the best, but I'm hoping that Adobe uh, Premiere Rush CC... I don't know why they didn't just call it Adobe Rush. Um, I'm hoping that this will be better. So if you're on iPhone, you know, if you're in the Apple world, if you've got an iPhone or an iPad, you might want to try this out. Or even if you just got the Adobe suite and you just want a simple application, I think from a Windows and Mac point of view, I think there's a lot of better alternatives as far as a simple uh, editing app goes. I think there's a lot of different applications out there you can download. Some, some are free of charge or some are much cheaper. But I think the whole idea here isn't about the fact that this is simple. It's simple by design. The whole idea is that you can record on the move. I could start editing it and then I can edit it on my tablet and then I can edit it on my computer. Or I could record here and then when I go to my computer, I can finish off the editing. Whereas normally I'd have to send the files manually. So yeah, let's see how let, let's see how it goes. I, I won't be able to try this out until next year because I don't have a, an Apple iPhone or iPad. But I'm really keen to see how this is, you know, what this is like and how it works. I like the idea of syncing videos between my phone and my computer and just making the whole, um, you know, the whole uh, process of recording a video and getting it to, com to your computer and editing it. I'd like to get that process simpler and, well, 
hopefully this is what Premier Rush CC is all about. If you're a video editor, if you're a YouTuber, you might find this useful. So please do check it out. Let me know what you think about it. And um, stay tuned. I will do a video about the, the new Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Mate 20? Yeah, Mate 20. I was going to say Mate Pro 20. The Mate 20 Pro. I will do a video about that, guys, uh, and give you my thoughts on that. But until then, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think of Premier Rush CC, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers.